Hello and welcome to another QuickBooks tutorial with EC QuickBooks Training. In this video we're going to learn how to work with lists. That is the customer list, the vendor list, the items list, and the other names list. And we're also going to learn how to customize and manage our list. Let's start with our customer list. Let's go to Customers, Customer Center. This brings up a list of all the customers we have in QuickBooks. This customer was entered when we entered our open balance and it created a journal entry. So let's learn how to enter a new customer by going to new and job, new customer and job and clicking new customer. This brings up the form that we need to fill out to create a new customer. We need to enter the name, the contact person, their title, their phone number, their address, their shipping address. Now if they have more than one shipping address you can definitely add a secondary shipping address and make the first one a default. If you need to make a customer inactive then you go here and, and check off customer is inactive. We also have the payment settings tab where we enter the payment information, their account number, and what pay, uh, preferred delivery method they like to receive their invoice by email, by mail, by none, and also their preferred payment method if they like to get paid with cash cash check or credit card. The sales tax settings is where we would put the uh, resale number of the customer. In the additional tabs you have some custom fields like customer type. QuickBooks already gives you this and then rep. But you can create your own custom fields. For example, if we want to have contractors license number we can select this and we can select it to use it for customers and vendors and we click OK. It says you have activated a custom field for this list. You can also use these fields in transactions by turning them in in your custom templates and we click OK. So now we can go ahead and enter the contractor's license number there. Now if we want to delete a custom field all we have to do is uncheck and delete the name and we click OK. Hit OK and it disappears. Now let's learn how to set up a job. Let's close out of this customer setup form and let's go to new add job. As you can see it looks like when you're adding a new customer however now there's a new tab to your right that says customer great customer. So I'm going to add this job. and it's going to be under my great customer. And then I want to add some information about this job. I would enter it here. The start date was January 1st of 2014. I have a projected end date of 12-31-2014. And this would be the actual end date. The type is a remodel. So I'm going to leave it like this and click OK. Now you can see that awesome job is under great customer. Now we are able to track the balance for that awesome job under the great customer. Now let's look at our vendor list. Let's go to vendor, vendor center. And we have one vendor because we added this when we entered our open balance. Let's learn how to enter a new vendor by going to new, new vendor. In the vendor form we have address information, we have a payment setting, we have a tax setting, account settings, and additional information where we can create our customized fields if we need to. Now let's look at the other names list. Let's go to list, other name list. And let's click on other names, add new. And here's a basic form where we just add their name and their contact information. Now we use the other names when it's not a customer and it's not a vendor. For example, we want to track our expenses correctly. So when we enter where you went for lunch, 
we would enter in other names, or where you put gas, like chevron, we would enter it in other names. You can also use other names for people that you pay one time or companies you pay one time. For example, I paid one time to ABC Plumbing. So I create a name and click OK. But then I decide to make ABC Plumbing my vendor because I use it more often. So now QuickBooks gives me a new tab that says Change Type. So now I can change him to a vendor. Hit OK. It says changing name type cannot be undone. Do you want to continue? We click OK. So it di disappears from our other names list and it puts it into our vendors list, ABC Plumbing. Now in order to edit or delete a vendor, we could do it two ways. We can right click and then we can delete or edit. Or we can go up here to the edit tab and go to delete or edit. We can also add and delete multiple vendors and we can also do the same for the customer. So go to the customer center, go to edit, edit, delete, or add multiple customers jobs. Now let's take a look at our items list. Let's go to list, items list. Items represent the products and services you sell. As you can see, QuickBooks gives us a list according to our industry, but we can definitely customize here according to what we need. Let's go ahead and add a new item by going to Item, then New. And here, QuickBooks gives us a category of the item we want to use. We're going to use a service item, and we're going to enter a new item called Metals. It is not a sub-item of any item. We're not using units of measure. And we are going to mark this where it says this service is used in assemblies or is performed by a subcontractor or partner. We want to put a description. And we can put a cost in here as well. But we must put an expense account. And the expense account is subcontractors. And we must put an income account, which is construction income. And we can also put a sales price, but we're not going to do that at this time. And we click OK. And there it is, metals. We will be using these items lists to bill our customers and to track our expenses. Setting up your items in QuickBooks is a lot like shopping at a grocery store. If you need only a few things, you can shop without a list. Similarly, if you're only going to use just a few items, you don't need to write them down before you start creating them. But if you use dozens or even hundreds of items, planning your items list can save you a lot of frustration. So that is how we work with vendors, customers, items, and other names lists. Thank you for joining us here at EC QuickBooks Training, and I hope to see you on our next QuickBooks tutorial. Thank you.